All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to take a look back at one of my older skate videos, my five year skate progression, one of my most viewed videos on this channel, and I think the best video that I've ever made. Now I don't normally do these reaction style videos just filming sitting at my desk, but because I broke my board yesterday, this is my current skateboard snapped in half. I was a big silly goose and I snapped it. It's gonna be raining for the next whole week, so I'm just gonna try to film this type of video, get used to filming a video at my desk. Let me know down in the comments if you like this style of video and I might make more in the future, but before we get into that, I do have a skate session that I filmed a couple of days ago. It was a good session, I wanna show you guys. Here we go. We're just gonna jump straight into the reaction video because I don't like sitting at my desk and speaking. I also need to mute the video because although it got a lot of views, it got copyrighted and I made zero money from it. And it starts off in one of my first ever skate spots, Morrison's, just a flat ground space before we had a skate park. And this guy decides to come in and destroy my session. There was no reason for him to chuck a cone, I don't know why he done it. And then this intro, I had edited the video the night before and then I told Michael I need to film some sort of an intro and I want to front flip into it to make it exciting because that's fun. People like flips, people like front flips. But the grass was like really wet so I was too scared to do it and I couldn't even land it. Whenever I can fit a dog into a video, it's gonna be a good video. Everything I've learned in the past five years, you guys can see me go from a complete beginner to now where I'm like slightly better than a complete beginner. I got a little better, a tiny little bit, like a centimeter better, whereas a pro, a lawnmower. If you're new to the channel and you like the skating or you just like me kind of falling about being an idiot all the time, you can subscribe, you can hit the like button, and that's all the talking that's gonna be in this video because it's nothing but skating. I'm sorry, I cry. Kind of This trick here, it's like, I wrap my leg around it and then do like a standing finger flip. I can't do that anymore, for some reason I could do it after skating about two months. Like I don't know how I could do it back then, so easy. My first burial flip. First kick flip fakey. This video has got a lot of firsts in it, like it's mainly just firsts. And you can tell because every time I land a trick, I fling my arms into the air and I roll away like, all weird. Strawberry milkshake, classic trick, first tray flip. That took me so long to do. That took me honestly like weeks of just trying it non-stop like hundreds of attempts on that bank. And then the one that I did land was good, but like it wasn't me learning how to tray flip. I just, I got lucky and it landed under me. Felt really cool though. First backside flip, first board slide on the rail. Board sliding on a rail was like one of the scariest things for me to try. I don't know why. I was just scared of it, like, going in between my legs, even though it's, like, knee height. I got a really sketchy one. Front side flip, front 180. Worst back side flip. I remember that was so scary. Like, I don't know, I thought I was going to hit my chin on the concrete. Got it really quick, though. And then first big spin. I don't even do big spins anymore like that. I, like, I don't even think I can do it. 
Thank you, Trey. <laughs> this was when I first got a GoPro and like setting up shots for the first time that wasn't just like filming on my phone felt so cool. I used to make these little like one session edits. First heel flip. That probably wasn't my first heel flip, I just put that in. But like first heel flip to fake you on a bank, I think. Kind of a big flip. I would count it. That tray flip, I love the way that looked. It was like ping and I landed it so clean. Backside flip's getting better. I remember this was so scary, the big hubba at the skate park. It's still the scariest ledge at the park. And back then that was like so scary to go for. Poor slide down, that was scary as well. I'm not like a a ballsy skater. I love this video. When I first got my GoPro head strap and I was able to film like POV skating, I think that's where my channel really changed. I don't know why, there's something about looking down like the POV view for GoPros. It just looks so cool. It's my favourite type of video to make. A fakey double. Okay, flip. That doesn't count, but at the time I counted that. Like, I don't know if you can count that as a full cab flip when I pivot the full 180. My first kickflip 50-50, I remember when I'd done this, it was like the windiest day, and I had just kind of learned how to do a backside 50-50. And then jokingly, I just tried to do the kickflip 50 and got kind of lucky, and it was so windy that it wasn't that scary to go for because I was going so slow. And then managed to just do one, and it ended up being really clean. Biggie big flip. I remember this, this frontside flip. Bam, I love the way that looked. And then the first Nolly big spin, so clean right after. Backside double. I love that as well. I spent so long doing tricks that by the time I finally got like my first one, I would spend like days and like weeks trying to learn one trick and I would get really close every time but I would never actually land it. And then by the time I actually do stick it, like it was just pretty clean. And then I would stop doing it because I spent weeks to get that one I didn't want to do it again. It's kind of what I still do now honestly. This big board slide, that was so scary. It took me so long and I got hurt so many times. And then I finally got it, that felt so good. My weird muska flips. I think you frontside flip. I still like the way all these tricks look. Backside flip of the euro. That backside flip, I love the way it looked. And then this one. That one took so long, that took me like three hours of just trying it non-stop. And I was so excited that I broke my board. First time in Barcelona. This is one of the best trips I've ever been on. First time going away with Kyle and Ahmed. And first time in Barcelona. And first time setting up a new board in a different country. Felt so cool. Going straight to parallel and having a skate session. Just learned tray flips on flat as well. Like I felt, I felt so cool. <laughs> first gazelle flip, kind of. First popsicle. That hurts so much. First kickflip down the stairs, that's one of the best feeling things I've ever done. It took me so long and was so scary, but when I landed it, it felt so good. Ugh. That is why I don't skate street, I always get hurt. I get hurt whenever I skate though. I remember this session being so good. Like I can do tricks here that I can't even do now. Like this big flip on the hip. So clean, I can't do it that clean anymore. <laughs> I don't know why that clip is so funny to me. Backside double. Big Ollie, that was so hard to do. And I got so hurt, I kept falling on my hip. And I feel like my hip is still sore from that fall. Just never really healed. First triple kick flip. First butt slap. This dog, I love that dog. First kind of blizzard flip, kind of. It's like 270. Bigger flip. Full cab flip. I think that's the best one I've ever done on a bank. Like I can't do it on flat because I'm not good at that like full cabbing that way. But on a bank I think that's the closest I've ever came to it. I would still count that. Although it's not that clean, like I like the way I've done it.
This is where I need to mute it because this is where it got copyrighted at 5 0. First get old word. Fakey hard flip. First 5 party flip. I love these old sessions. Michael like, oh, still got his dreads on. <laughs> still got them on. Didn't take them off yet. Get a word on that, kind of. <laughs> oh. Some of my old falls, like when I watch them back, I like they look so sore. I feel like this is when I started kind of skating the way that I do now. The big skateboard stack. I wish I still had like a big stack of skateboards. I always give them away though, then they get made into things. At the moment I think I have like two broken boards. Back then though I had like 30. This is when we went to Malta, this weird skate park with a huge bank, big ollie over a bin. Good, good, good. <laughs> I remember that part so much. This video got like 400 views and I got so hurt when I done it, skating in this little basket that I stole from Lidl. <laughs> Trick flips exchange, I love the way that looked and the yellow hoodie. My first dirt bike accident. First butt slide. Becksmith. Nolly kickflip. 2018 and I still can't do them. Still struggle with them. So this, I thought I broke my spine. That was so sore. But then the clip right after, my dad doing the exact same thing. He actually broke his wrist when he done that. Somehow, it doesn't look like it. And after it, like he didn't really feel any pain. But that clip, he broke his wrist and then found out like a week later that he broke it. Then this clip, God, that hurts so much. I hit my shins going down the rail and then did a big lip slide. Then learned how to do it on the rail as well. Get a burn, Bebo. Long kick flip 50. I still ca I can't do this anymore on this black ledge, but I want to get them again. <laughs> Like <laughs> cloud grind. I really need to re relearn how to kickflip the stairs. For some reason, I just kind of stopped doing them a while ago, and ever since, like, I don't want to go for it. They just seem scary to go for now, and like, I don't want to get hurt. Learning how to unicycle. Learned it in one day. Jacob and his sweat monkey. Kickflip over the rail. I remember that felt so cool. I've always wanted to do that. And I got it pretty good. Kick the over. This summer was so good. It was hot for so long that the grass went brown. Like it's never been that consistently dry and hot in Scotland. But this summer it was just insane. I want to relearn it. I want to learn it on like doing it regular as well. Kick the this there. So clean. I need to do it. First impossible. Ripstick kick flip. Impossible tail grab, kind of. I remember this session being sick when I first learned like the nose pulling thing, and then that kick flip in, shove at the stairs, 50 the rail. That was so scary to go for. Took me ages to learn, and then I got on like the long rail. That trick there, I thought I was actually gonna die. I used to do this thing where I would do like a front flip out with a quarter and then land on the grass. But then this one time I told myself I wanted to do it on like land on the concrete. And then when I actually went for it, I kind of chickened out last second, but still was like mid flip and already going round. And I was just swinging my arms. Like this position that I'm in, I thought I was gonna land straight on my head or like on the coping on my back. And then luckily just landed on my butt. Like even my board coming down, like I thought it was gonna hit me in the head. I was so scared at long 5-0. This hurts so much. Front nose blunt, but it slipped out and then instead of just like running down the quarter or like falling on top of it, I just jumped straight down onto my shoulder. Ah, that hurts so much. <laughs> Big Ollie. 
went out of focus. I filmed this for like an hour and then when I finally got it, it went out of focus for the one that I actually landed. <laughs> Big hippie jump. I don't think I can do it that high anymore. Maybe. But that's like nipple height hippie jump. And I just tried it because it destroyed me mentally just going for it over and over. The spleen ball. This video as well at the time got like 600 views. <laughs> I got so hurt for it as well. I was just chucking my body all about the skate park. Bleeding all down my leg. My first blunt to fakey, which I can't do anymore, but I need to relearn because that felt so good. A lot of these tricks, like I spend so long learning them that when I actually get it, I just don't do it again because I don't want to put myself through it anymore. Failed butt snap. Impossible is getting good. Tray flips. This tray flip. Oh wait, it's impossible. Never mind. Blunt big spin out. Don't know how I was able to do that at the time. Can't do it anymore. Running into the sea in the middle of winter. It was so cold, skating in pumpkins. I remember this whole pumpkin video just feeling so cool. All the shots with the pumpkin. I did it because I watched that episode of The Office when Dwight puts it on his head and it gets stuck. And then because of it, I rolled my ankle and that was the worst I've ever rolled my ankle in my whole life. <laughs> Some flips. Big blunt, successful one where I didn't hurt my shoulder. I love this video. I don't know what song I had to use because of the copyright, what parts of the audio that I could have used and what parts that I couldn't. But if you guys haven't checked out this video, go check it out, it'll be in the description. As I said at the start, I never usually make this style of video, so let me know if you liked it, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're not ready, and check back in a couple of days for another one. I'll see you guys then. Bye!